Have you ever wondered even once where all the data you put online are kept? How does the software store all the pieces of information you have? I'm sure of some time you were curious. Well, good news! The answer is, there is a place where they secure all the data you put online. But do you have any idea what it looks like inside the data center? Luckily, I'm here to show you one of the biggest data centers of Microsoft. But before we get a tour inside Microsoft's data center, hit the subscribe button and like this video, and make sure to click that bell button to keep you updated for more amazing videos like this. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. In Quincy, Washington, the massive data center of Microsoft is where the company runs its cloud operations. It is the annex of the Microsoft Columbia Data Center campus. It was said to be the most important infrastructure of the 21st century. That is not the only data center owned by Microsoft. They have a total of 160 data centers in different regions and are linked by one of the largest interconnected networks in the world. The data center has 20 large buildings with the longest security checkpoint worldwide. Inside the data center, a massive lobby is present to accommodate visitors from outside. Next to it is a server room. There are half a million server computers that can store all the data that can fill more than 50,000 libraries of Congress. It is the heart of the Microsoft's cloud storage with innovative server blades which is designed under Project Olympus. It is Microsoft's next generation model for open source cloud hardware for virtual machines. The purpose of these computers is to serve as storage that can keep and run all the computer work that we do online every single day. Like research, computer storage, development, and every computer use. A network room is also provided where all the data is kept within the network which has the latest advancements in cloud technology. The Microsoft Cloud is composed of a globally transmitted data center with over 200 online services like Microsoft Office, Outlook, OneDrive, Bling, Skype, and Xbox Live. And all the contents of these programs and software are synced into the computers of the data center. It serves billions of customers and 23 million companies worldwide. Microsoft Data Center has a highly developed energy infrastructure, which is important in case of a single power cut. It has not less than 9,000 battery cells with 140 electrical generators that can power up 3,000 homes. A high-speed robust fiber optic network connects the data center to the other hubs and internet users. Because the data center stores billions of data from all over the world, they provide over 3,500 cybersecurity experts that work 24-7 to secure the Microsoft Cloud. For this to happen, Microsoft invested $1 billion for both physical and digital security. One of the security features of the data center is a high security perimeter fence, and another is by the entrance. There are physical security measures that include a check-in station. It is a one-day door to prevent visitors from taking unauthorized pieces of equipment in and out of the data center. Outside the data center, visitors can see electrical equipment like two power lines from the electric power grid for redundancy in case one of the lines goes down. By 2025, Microsoft plans to maintain the data centers with 100% renewable energy. Like other huge computer-dependent factories, Microsoft also has a cooling system. Microsoft uses mechanical coolers that use water to cool the air by evaporation or similar to mist. Microsoft eyes to transform to waterless cooling systems to lessen the water consumption. As the year moves forward, Microsoft has planned to build more data centers. The company is said to be on pace to build between 50 to 100 new data centers every year and make renovations to other existing data centers, including the world's first underwater data center that will be powered by locally produced energy including wind, solar, ride, and wave sources. What can you say about the Microsoft data center? Is it how you imagined? Tell me your answers in the comment section below. That's it for this video guys. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more amazing videos like this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.